Now, what are the advantages of this allocation functions? It uses memory without wastage, right at the time when we need the memory only we use it. The requirement of memory is not necessary that should be known in advance. When we are running the program, depending upon the variables input by the user, it will allocate the memory. It has a very simple syntax. Now, this is just a small example program. We have used the library.h file, the main function and a float pointer variable. Using that, we are allocating the size for that particular float variable m alloc size of float and that is stored in the pointer variable fp. Now, we are printing the address of the memory that is allocated. So, it has now been stored somewhere in memory. We are trying to get that address from the compiler. Then we are entering a float value, we are accepting that value and now we want to see the value that is stored at that address. That is why here we are simply using the variable fp to get the address. Here we are using pointer fp to get the value. So, this is how the value is printed. First the address is printed, then the float value that we have entered, then the value is stored correctly at this particular address. So, this is how we use malloc functions in the dynamic memory allocation functions in the C programming language.